you know, please, just, just realize that, you know, you're not promised tomorrow, you know. You really ain't, you're not. You know, every day you get a chance to wake up, you gotta really be grateful. You got most importantly, be grateful and ride this motherfucker till the wheels fall off. Live your life. Ride this motherfucker till the wheels fall off. And when it's time to go, you're gone. Fuck it. You don't owe nobody, fuck it. If you do owe them, you're gone. They can't get it. <laughs> but man, so now with all that, I get, you know, that gets you down every now and then because you, you see it every time you turn on the news and, and all that, man. There's something that's going to be with us, you know, a long time. You know, that's just for the rest of our lives. And I'm trying to do things that, I, that make me feel good, like I'm watching Cops. <laughs> Black people, come on. Y'all know we on Cops every fucking week. Every motherfucking week, cops are black people starring black people. We running through the motherfucker with helicopters chasing us and shit. You know what I mean? Go to commercial, come back, we still running and shit. Running like a motherfucker. You know, just running in the fucking street, man. But you know one thing I noticed on cops? Is it me? But white people get away with a lot of shit when it comes to with the cops. They talk to the cops, they talk back like a motherfucker. They cuss their ass out. What the fuck did you pull me over for? I don't give a shit. I want to know what did you pull me over for? I didn't fucking do nothing, you asshole. You fucking asshole. You're an asshole. You're an asshole and you're a dick. Yes. Fuck that, man. You don't pull me over for nothing. Yeah, I know I was speeding you. Fuck, I'm in a rush. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're an asshole. And fuck you, you're an asshole. And you're a dick. You know what? Why don't you put your dick in your ass? Fuck you. Fuck you. My dad's gonna have your ass. There goes your five million dollar donation, you fuck. See your ass in court, buddy. They cuss the cops out like a motherfucker. Black people, we don't do that shit no more. Ever since that Rodney King ass whooping, we shut the fuck up. Cause you never know if that shit's gonna be us on TV tomorrow, on tape. They pull us over, we, what's the problem, officer? Yes, was I what? I was speeding. Oh, damn, where's the light? I didn't even see me go through that. Damn it. Look here, would you give me a ticket? Yeah, yeah. Because I got to learn. I got to fucking learn, you know? Let me give you my full name, my middle name. Let me spell that for you and stuff. We only that nice because we know we got some shit under the seat. <laughs> Who knows what that is? But... Latinos, they act like they ain't from this country. They don't speak the English when they get pulled over till they see that ticket price. They get pulled over, no, no, what I do, I don't know. I don't know what I do, Speedy de Casales. What's I go to Speedy? No, daddy, see, don't know. They see that ticket, motherfucker, this is bullshit. Arriba, arriba, but uh, I talk about watching positive programs, you know. Yeah, I joke about the cop shit, because that ain't nothing positive about that shit getting arrested, I'll tell you that. But a, a, a program that is positive, if you ever get a chance to see, it's called Eye on the Prize. And this, this program will make you, make you cry, you know. And I'm serious, if you ever seen, you've seen that, it's a beautiful thing, you know. And I, I tell you, I, I say I'm, I love America. This is the best country in the world. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, but I'm a black man. And I ain't forgot what the fuck we as black people have been through in America. You know what I mean? So I, I don't, we ain't gonna just act like shit is all right, but we gonna work towards change to make it better. And that's what people have in this, this eye on the prize have done for us. They put their lives out there, you know, so that we can be, you know, in the forefront, so that we can better ourselves. You know, isn't that a beautiful when you look at Iron Prize, when you think of segregation and, and the civil rights and all those things, man. Or when I was watching Iron Prize, yeah, Martin Luther King, you know, great man in history. Malcolm X, great man in history, standing up for us so that we could sit together, blacks and whites, work together, freedom, grow together. That's beautiful. Martin said, nonviolent, nonviolent. We shall overcome. I've been to the mountaintop, nonviolent, nonviolent. Malcolm said, yeah, but by any means necessary. <laughs> Martin said, nonviolent, nonviolent. By any means necessary. 
Martin and Malcolm were saying the same thing. They just had different opinions and different approach just to it. And I thought that was beautiful. I said, that's all right, you know? But then one day I was watching, and Martin Luther King, and I'm named after Martin. I was proud, Martin! And I watched him go through Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, this racist white boy picked up a rock, you know, like a half a boulder or some shit. And he pitched that motherfucker like he was pitching for the Orioles. Bah! And hit Martin in his head. And all Martin did was say, oh, non-violent, non-violent, don't nobody do nothing. Non-violent, non-violent, my head's bleeding right now. Don't nobody do nothing. We shall overcome. I've been to the mountaintop. I'm having a dream right now. Non-violent, non-violent, non non-violent. And I was proud. I said, damn, that takes a strong man to get hit in the head with a half a boulder and still say non-violent. Damn. Woo! But if you like me, then one time you would have loved to hear Martin say, another one of you motherfuckers hit me with a rock. I'll beat your bitch ass, you motherfucker. Fuck that Coretta, these niggas think I'm soft. Let me show you how Martin get down, motherfucker. This is how Martin get down. <laughs> and I know he got on his boys. I know he was here and shit said, Jesse, damn it, Jesse, you seen who threw that fucking rock, Jesse? Get off your ass and go handle that. Stop chasing them hoes, Jesse. Can I get a little water? Okay. Yeah, I got, I got to, I got to ask y'all, you know, there's predominantly black people in here. And I want you to pause in no show. <laughs> I'm gonna hurry up. Somebody put something in his mouth, my zipper stuck, y'all. <laughs> I warn you, watch your mouth now. Don't forget who the original Def Jam host was, motherfucker. <laughs> I know I'm getting old, 36, man, and, you know, getting older, yeah. You know, you don't do the same things you do when you get older. You, I want to grow old gratefully. I, you know, getting old ain't, ain't, ain't no joke. It's like, you know, you, when you see older people, old people, you got to really show them some respect and love because, you know what I mean, there's a lot of wisdom there. They don't, you know, they're living their life and they, you know, they got seniority here in this life. You got to show them some love, man, you know. And I know I get old. That's why I said, man, until that point, I'm going to ride this motherfucker to the wheels for all. Live your life, because that's what, I'm sure that's what an old person will tell you, you know. And you think about it, you look around. Here, you know, this is just the body of life right here. You got some young, you got some old and everything, and you just look around, that's what it is. It goes in a cycle. You go young, old, old, young, young, old. And that's it. That's about, again, it. Think about it. And the shit just recycles itself. Like, the same things happen. When you're a baby, you got one tooth. When you get old, you got one motherfucking tooth just hanging on. That's... And that motherfucker fragile than a motherfucker. You got to cut the, uh, the apple to eat the shit, you know? When you're a baby, you know what I mean? You, you, wear, you wear diapers. When you get old, you got motherfucking adult pampers on. When you're a baby, you're in a little walker trying to strengthen your legs, trying to walk. <laughs> when you get old, you're in that metal motherfucking walker. You got one patch of hair when you're a baby, you got a patch of fucking hair when you're old. You try to corn roll that motherfucker. <laughs> trying to hang on to what little hip hop you got left. But it's just a cycle. It goes like that, man. That's all it is, a cycle, man. And I know when I get old, I don't give a fuck. Don't do me no favors. Leave me at home. Let me watch the birds, like I said. But don't be taking me to no motherfucking game. And my Martin wouldn't want to go to the basketball game. Then take me to the game and then announce me. Ladies and gentlemen, we got uh, Martin Lawrence in the house. And I'm old and a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Because all they do is sit you up front and exploit the fuck out you. Got the camera.